Good morning guys from just outside of Cody, Wyoming and we are camped on the edge of a cliff. I know I might get in trouble for this but bear with me but we all know Rebecca is afraid of heights. We are literally camped right on the crest of this cliff. Now if we were to roll I did make sure that we're gonna roll that way but not too much further like maybe just a matter of a few feet is this massive probably a few thousand foot drop all right so i'm right here at the truck and just for reference on how close we are to the crest here's the rock here's the rock again and off it goes I can't lie, there have been some moments when that wind was blowing that I was really questioning our decision, but nothing like living on the edge. I don't think we're gonna roll away, but be prepared to jump out because I'm gonna unchalk these wheels, okay? Are you serious? See, we're not rolling. You tell somebody who's afraid of heights to be prepared to jump out of the car if it starts rolling and I know you're probably like no, pulling my leg. No, safety first. I'll, right. no, I'm just for real. Yeah, that's why you can't wipe that smirk <laughs> off your face. Okay, we just need to let the engine warm up. morning from Spirit Mountain and just outside of Cody, Wyoming. Yeah, back up. Okay. <laughs> I knew you were going to do it and it still did it to me anyway. I hate you. But you love me so much. Not right now. You're lucky I'm legally bound to love you right now. So as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, hello from Spirit Mountain, about 3,000 feet above Cody, Wyoming. We spent a really nice uh, two nights, one full day here. Just uh, did a lot of relaxing, at least I did. Ben made three or four videos. Four? I uh, finished three and got a good jump on four. I don't know where we're going today other than we're headed in the general direction of Colorado. We do have to dump the cassette toilet and we are in need of fuel. So we'll be sure to get those two things done. But uh, we don't really have like a final destination in mind other than to make it across the Colorado border today. I figured out a way to make it down the mountain without having heart failure. I get out of the vehicle under the premise of getting shots, which Ben loves, and I don't have to ride in the car on the way down the mountainside. I'm really not a chicken, it's just that I'm terribly afraid of heights. I can't help it. I think I must have like driven off a cliff in a previous life. I don't know why. So here's a little uh, information about our truck. To switch from this tank to the other tank, we use this right here. Um, I haven't done it yet. Uh, that tank over there does not have a sending unit for level. This one does. Uh, that one, the uh, diesel stove and the diesel furnace and those accessories run off of that tank. And we also need to clean the windshield for you guys so we can get some really 
clear footage. Okay, 275 miles on this tank and 11.22 miles a gallon. You know, we were bucking some pretty strong winds and uh, also running the air conditioning and probably cruising around 60 mile an hour. And we climbed that big mountain. Yeah, and we uh, climbed that mountain. So, hey, not bad at all. Still better than uh, old Nelly at seven and a half. Okay, I pulled out of the way of the fuel pumps uh, because I'd like to switch tanks. And God forbid there is some issue, I don't want to be blocking the fuel pump. So like I just showed you, this is the uh, position for the other tank. This is the position for this tank. And if there are ever any issues of like air in the lines, this is the fuel filter. And there's like a spring-loaded pump so I can prime the filter. I made the switch, it's still running fine. Probably gonna sit here for a few minutes just for the heck of it to make sure and uh, then we're gonna get on the road. Okay, the engine just died. <laughs> you hear the thing pumping. Ah. You know, the great thing about it is when something like this happens, you have your house with you. So like, we always have a place to lay your head. Karma seems to be a son of a gun after playing that joke on Rebecca this morning. But, uh, we had to flip that valve to switch tanks at some point. But I am very suspect of that uh, fuel filter housing and pump right there is just not building pressure. So I'm pouring some diesel into the top of this fuel filter. You obviously can't see. And then this is that spring loaded pump and I'm just kind of setting it on there and then Yeah, it only takes a, like a quarter cup or maybe a couple tablespoons, but I'm just keeping pouring it in and hopefully I can get some fuel in these lines to at least get this puppy started and the rest theoretically should fall into place because really all it is is probably just air in the lines. Oh, I see diesel. Yep. Hey. All right, well, let's see if this is enough to get it started. All right, you have the keys. There's definitely resistance now on the spring. Guys, this is good news. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> yes, so keep running now. Come on, baby, keep running. Give her some juice, give her up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Despite the karma of what he did this morning, coming back to bite him, he is the man he got this thing going again. I'm very happy. Uh, Are you happy? I'm relieved. I'm <laughs> sure as hell not satisfied that this all happened. <laughs> The guy Adam here at uh, Exxon was just so nice and helpful. He brought us bottles of water. Just super kind. And you know, the kindness of humans, it's out there. You know, most people are really, really nice and it warms your heart when you're the recipient of it. And as a nice gesture, we gave him a filet of halibut. All right, we've been idling for about 10 minutes. The engine is running great. Right. See you guys. Thanks, Thank Adam. You. All right, well, we're gonna try to make it so it's not a total loss for the day. And uh, we found a Walmart in Riverton. Something like that. Yeah, Wyoming. Uh, two, and a two, half two, two and a half hour drive, 108 miles. But it's still light out. We've got like three hours of daylight left. So we thought we'll make the most of it. Let's just close this video. It's been one heck of a day. I agree. Yeah, I think we're done. All right, well, Thank you for joining us for the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Because, believe it or not, we're going to drive around the world. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Oh,